Hey, what's up you guys? Time is back with another Linsense video. Today we have a fragrance from Fragrance World, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's a cell phone, a tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile. And if you are watching me from any of those last three, hopefully you are not the one behind the wheel. However, wherever you're watching me, it is an honor. You guys are new to this channel. You like what you see. Hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Now, before we get into this fragrance, I'm going to just show you guys a couple stores right there that I shop with frequently. And you can use those discount codes to save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, one of my favorite stores. Again, talked about them all the time. And this is a fragrance that I got from them just uh, literally a couple days ago. Decided to pull this one out and do a first impressions. Now, this is from the Oud store out there in California. Again, right over there. Go check it out. Okay. This one is, again, from Fragrance World. This is called the Pride Red Moon. Hmm. What could that be a clone of? Hmm. Prada Luna Rosa. I think Luna Rosa actually stands for Red Moon, if I'm not mistaken. And there it is. This is called the Pride Red Moon. Okay. So, again, Luna Rosa. Okay, now, I do recall having the Luna Rosa Ocean. It was okay. It was, you know, it wasn't, it, to me, it didn't blow me away. I don't even think I did a review on it, but I had it for like a week or two and then, you know, decided to trade it. Um, I believe Carbon is the one that is supposed to smell similar to Sauvage. And this one is the one I don't think I've ever smelt uh, knowingly. So, uh, you know, whatever this smells like, you know, I'm just going to let you know if it smells good, Okay. Uh, apparently to <coughs> apparently to Fragranica, a lot of people enjoy it. It's like got a 4.3 rating or 4.13, so maybe it's nothing too wowy, if you will, but it's just a very nice, uh, safe, pleasant uh, fragrance. And uh, if you guys like those safe, pleasant fragrances, nice work scent, then you're going to like this. And I think I'm smelling something straight from the box, kind of almost sweet and citrusy off the, off the box. So let's get into it and see if that Yeah, definitely getting something out of there. Like some green, green stuff. So here we go. Green, kind of sweet. Let's get into this. Hopefully, uh, wonder if they, see if they cloned the whole bottle too. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the bottle. Uh, I mean, very similar, if you will. Uh, doesn't have the uniqueness of the actual Prada uh, bottle, but it does have like this kind of frosted, silvery plated uh, thing going on here. And there it is, Pride. And the cap is actually pretty decent. Nice little weight. You know, it's not too heavy, but uh, there you go. Again, there is the Red Moon. So that would be where Luna Rosa would be, and that would be where Prada would be. So Pride. So literally taking every word from the real deal pretty much and making it their own. So uh, who knew? Who knew they did that type of stuff? <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Go over here. Let's go over here. The right. I always like when they put the FW. It just gives it a lot of uh, attention to detail, if you will. So here we go. Nice wide sprayer, which is very nice. Very green and minty in there. Very fresh, very uplifting. It's probably, I, I think there's like some sage in here, some mint, very, just very green. Very green and aromatic, if you will, in there. Very, very nice. Get some more citrus up when you smell it up close. Now again, not like smelling a straight up bergamot like the inside or a lemon, not like that. But you definitely know there's something in here that's kind of giving it that citrusy vibe, okay? So citrusy, really green. And this also this almost kind of reminds me, uh, maybe without a little bit of that, uh, without the fig, I think, uh, would be something like similar to Sean John 3 AM, that very fresh outdoorsy green woody smell this is uh you know honestly this is again this is in the ballpark 
as far as your, your classic fragrances, in my opinion. This is a classic -y gentleman type fragrance, especially with those greens and stuff. Almost barbershop -y, if you will. Okay? barbershop -y. Those are usually some of my favorite type of scents. I like that green. I like that aromatic. I like that, that freshness, that uplifting, that a fragrance that makes you feel powerful or like a boss or in charge of something. And this is one of those fragrances, let me turn that around, that will do that. Again, it smells very gentleman, okay? Very classy, very mature, okay? Obviously, a young guy could probably pull this off, but in my opinion, this is more of a mature scent. Even, man, this is, again, very similar. Like, Sean John 3 AM, think of stuff like that. Polo, the original, that piney, that that outdoorsiness, okay, stuff like that, very, very, very aromatic, and honestly, the only problem with a fragrance like this is something I've been saying for the longest, okay, now, I can't tell you how long Prada Luna Rosa lasts, I can't tell you if it's a beast, I can't tell you if it's a projection monster, I can't tell you if the longevity is super duper long, so, the thing is, a fragrance like this, especially, now I'm not sure if Prada is, the Luna Rosa is discontinued or anything, but I believe you can probably get a decent, even a tester of the real thing for pretty cheap, maybe about 60 bucks, maybe 70, who knows, maybe maybe it's a little bit less, and maybe it's more, I don't know, but uh, we'll, we'll check, you guys can let me know. This is about $40, so what this thing has to do now, I was wondering, <laughs> almost soapy now. So, the soapy, green, earthy. So, what this fragrance has to do is just really honestly outperform the real thing, okay? And the thing is, if I don't have the real thing sitting in front of me, I can't tell you if it outperforms it. But, I can get back to you when you guys leave the comments down below. Hey, how long did that thing last? And I can tell you, hey, the thing lasts pretty good, like, six seven eight hours good good performance good projection you get outdoors boom 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 and it's good now you guys already know this is going to be a warmer um uh warmer style fragrance for warmer months pretty much honestly it, again it doesn't matter you know whether obviously weather plays somewhat of a role but again it all just depends on where you're going okay you, you summertime okay you think you need that citrusy fragrance but Let's say you're going into a building that's ice cold or real cold. Then you can put a fall style fragrance on. So it really doesn't matter where you wear these fragrances. You really just got to think about the actual occasion, okay? You got to kind of do your research, okay? You're going to a wedding, okay? Where is that wedding? Is it going to be outdoors? Okay, if it's outdoors, then you don't wear a fall fragrance, okay? If it's indoors, you could probably get away with that, okay? Especially if you kind of spray right before you go into the indoors, okay? Somewhere like that. But again, a fragrance like this, again, it makes you feel like a classy gentleman makes you feel mature because it's got that matureness to it again slightly citrusy again not juicy citrus but it's, it's it's noticeable like the essential oils of some citrus and again very green very again i think there's mint and some sage in here and i'm definitely getting both of those the sage kind of giving it that little bit of earthiness along with that greenness but i mean this is a fragrance that i'm gonna enjoy a lot and, uh, you know, I'm probably not gonna, uh, you know, luckily I don't have many people in my family that's just like, you know, they just know a whole lot of fragrances. So if I stick this up there, you know, they're not gonna be like, oh, is that the Prada? And then they see it in his pride. Uh, some of them probably don't know what the Prada Luna Rosa is. So this one will definitely, uh, surprise some people in my inner circle. But, uh, to you guys, you know, again, depends on what you guys like. If you guys need the real deal to... Make you feel a little bit better, make you feel a little bit more accomplished because you got the real thing, then go be it. But honestly, again, a fragrance doesn't make the individual. The individual makes the fragrance. So just keep those words in mind, Ken. As long as you feel good while you're wearing it, it's all that matters. Okay, so with that being said, this is Pride again, copping uh, the Prada Luna Rosa. Okay, again, very citrusy. Again, again, not citrusy, juicy citrusy, but essential oils citrusy, okay? And again, very green, kind of earthy, aromatic, very nice, outdoorsy, 
almost kind of has a little bit of this bar soap, a little smell at the end of it, but nonetheless, I can't complain about this one, okay? Again, go for what it is, okay, and what it's not trying to be. Again, if you go getting this and you already got the real thing, okay, you might, again, again, if you have this and then you get the real thing, obviously, if you smell them side by side, okay, and you know you spent 40 on this one, you spent 100 on this one, your brain is automatically going to tell you that this one is better. That's just the way our brains work. I spent more on it, so it should be better, okay? But how many times did that happen? You bought something that was a little bit pricier, you thought it was better, and you realized later on it's not even that much better. It's pretty much the same. It's how everything is. Cell phones, clothes, TVs, this, that, that. Everything is that way, okay? You buy something, they send out something new the following year. Again, just like these fragrances. You got this fragrance. Then they come out with Prada Luna Rosa Parfum, then they the EDP, then the Extract Parfum. Hey, if you were going to make a strong one, just make it right from the get-go. But it is a money grab with all these fragrances. So that's why I say save your money sometimes if you really need to, okay? Again, especially if you have a big fragrance collection. Are right, you really going to be out of place if two of them don't smell like the original? And you still got like 100 left behind you? No. So... Take those words into consideration. I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Yeah.